this is Katie. I was not gonna film today. Uh, I'm hanging out, it's raining. Can you hear it? Maybe. Um, I was not gonna film today. I was just gonna have like a chill day. I'm feeling, you know, a little anxious today. I was just gonna kinda not really do much. But then I bought something and I need to show you what I bought. Um, and I need to show you now, just in case they still have them. Uh, you know, when I post this video, if you're around my age, you might remember these and I guess they're back now. I don't know. Anyway, um, I went to Walmart and I purchased a trapper keeper. Um, this way, um, uh, what? Um, uh, this is the best purchase of 2021 by far, hands down. Um, I also got like dividers and I got paper just in case, it's like 80 cents, just in case I wanted to, you know, do math problems. Um, and then I got a little binder pouch, you guys. But this one's like, like a legit trapper keeper. The original trapper keeper traps everything inside. Uh, if you guys don't know what this is, it's essentially a binder with a Velcro flap, but they were very popular when I was young. I know it's raining. I hope it's not too loud, but I just needed to show you. I got the sunset one. They had like four different designs. Ready? Um, it comes with two folders. I'm very upset that they're not Lisa Frank and I did not see any Lisa Frank. So honestly, I'll probably have to put an Amazon uh, order in for some Lisa Frank folders, but it comes with a purple and a black one and a little clippy thing on the back. But, uh, oh, and a pocket here. You get out of here. I don't need you. I'm not returning you. This is like the best purchase of my life. Get, 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 get. I guess I can just rip it. I'm not returning you. Don't need that. It has like a little pocket here. Um, I'm going to put this in the front to hold some pens. You guys, oh. I'm gonna put some paper in. Um, I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna do it right now. If you watch my Instagram stories from the day I purchased this, um, I mentioned this already, but I'm gonna tell you guys here as well. Um, I got this uh, in hopes that, oh my gosh, I have not opened a binder in a, such a long time. Oh my gosh. I am an adult, right? Kinda, I'm 35. Um, I got this to keep like my bills and stuff in. <laughs> Thinking like it might make them a little bit easier to deal with, you know what I mean? They stress me out sometimes, my bills sometimes stress me out. Um, so keeping them in a trapper keeper like I'm 11 years old, might make them a little bit easier to deal with because I don't like to have frivolous stuff in the car that I don't use. So I'm definitely going to put some stuff in here, whether it is bills, uh, maybe I actually will just use this as kind of like a journal or something with the loose leaf. <laughs> I am just so excited. I'm so sorry that it's now pouring during my video. Okay, paper's in. Might be too much paper. Might not need that much paper, especially since I don't even know if I'm gonna be using it. I just wanted to show you my new Trapper Keeper. <laughs> you guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, this made my day. I really need to take a lot of that paper out. That's way too much. That's excessive, but I'll probably keep my bills in here. Maybe some work stuff uh, or a journal. I'm definitely gonna use it though. Like, I just don't like to have extra stuff in the car that I'm not using, especially when I'm on the road. Like, I'm on the road right now. Obviously, put all my stuff in here, I'm on the road. And I don't like to have extra stuff that I'm not using. I will use this. Mark my words, DM me in like three weeks and ask me if I've used this, because if I haven't, you gotta yell at me. But anyway, just wanted to show you my new purchase. I'm so excited. Hey guys, so that footage, <laughs> was from about a month ago, maybe five weeks ago. Um, but I just wanted to continue this video and show you guys um, some other things that I've purchased and received over the last month or so while I'm living in my car. In the past, I used to shop all the time, even when I lived in my car. But lately, I, I literally just don't shop as much. I really, really don't. I really just want to accumulate things that I'm going to use and that I love, that I love, love, love. And so I have this whole bag of stuff that I've purchased over the last month and received over the last month that I wanna show you. Um, but the first thing that I do definitely wanna show you is this jewelry. I'm one of those people that even when I'm living in a car, even when I'm traveling, I still want to 
have some nice things. Um, I still want to have clothes that I really like. I still want to have makeup that I really like. And I still want to have some jewelry that I really, really like and that I wear all the time. And honestly, the beginning of this video was over a month ago, I think. And I had this necklace and this necklace on. I have not taken them off since then. I literally wear them 24 seven. Um, but I did get a couple new jewelry pieces that I wanted to share with you guys. And so I do want to thank Anna Luisa for partnering with me on this video. A lot of you guys know that I've worked with Anna Luisa in the past. A lot of you guys know that if I'm wearing jewelry, most of it, if not all is from Anna Luisa. Um, and I am one of their partners for the next few months, which I'm so excited about. I love their jewelry. It's made in small batches. They're made in Brooklyn. A lot of it is gold plated. It's really, really good quality especially for the price their pieces start at $39 literally everything that I'm wearing right now is Ana Luisa um, and I do have a discount code so I'm just going to tell you guys what pieces I'm wearing right now and then I'll get to the discount code so let me I'm just gonna pull my phone out just to make sure that I know uh, what all the pieces are named and so I have these two rings they're very similar but this one is smaller can you see they're like the same style but this one is a little bit smaller than this one. Uh, this one is called the Nell, and then this one is the Wiley. These two necklaces I've had. I've had, and I showed probably in my last video with Anna Luisa or even the one before that, but this necklace, you guys, this is the Esme Slim. I love this necklace, especially for layering. I literally, literally have these three on all the time. I don't take them off. I just don't take them off. Um, and then I do have these earrings, which are sold out. I'm sorry. Um, these are called the Baldo and they're sold out. However, 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 there's a similar pair that I took a screenshot of called the Sophia that are a similar sized hoop and they do have a little bit of texture on them. So if you like this look, I'm sorry these are sold out, but the Sophia is a very similar type of hoop. The cool thing about Ana Luisa is they have a ton of classically modern stuff mixed with some trendy stuff, but since the price is so low, if I am going to buy anything trendy, I do not wanna pay a lot of money for it. I just really don't. And so if you like the classic stuff, if you like modern stuff, if you like more trendy stuff, if you like gold plated, they also have silver and they do have some pieces that have color on them as well. I really hope that you check out Anna Luisa. I will have the links in my description and also, 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 they are giving us 10% off. So I will have like the code right here. And again, I will have the links in my description. Um, and so thank you so much for Anna Luisa for partnering with me for sponsoring this video. I really like I wear their jewelry all the time. If you watch my other videos, I have their jewelry on even when their videos are not sponsored, even when I'm not talking about them. Um, if you check my Instagram, if you hang out with me, Outside of the internet, I am generally wearing a lot of their jewelry. I just love it so much. So again, thank you for partnering with me on this video. And if you want to just check out their jewelry or see any of the pieces that I'm wearing, I will have Anna Luisa's link in my description. But I do have a bunch of other stuff that I wanna talk about in terms of just stuff that I've purchased recently. I have not really purchased anything for like most of the summer. Like I think I spent most of the summer not buying anything and it wasn't really on purpose it was just i just i knew i didn't need anything i didn't want anything and then just you know over the last few weeks or so these were just the things that i ended up really wanting and or needing to replenish in my collection and so if this seems like a lot to you i totally understand um but it's been over the last month or so and i have not purchased anything uh really probably since the spring or so so this is kind of a little bit of a haul for sure, like a little shopping spree haul for sure. But it's all stuff that I really love and that I'm definitely gonna use. So here is a Walmart bag. Um, a lot of the stuff in this bag is nail stuff. Cause I was like, I have not painted my nails in so long. And so I just wanted to buy, you know, a couple new little nail products, most incredibly inexpensive, just to, you know, kind of take better care of my nails a little bit. And so I got a new like nail buffer, which especially if you don't paint your nails, this was like a dollar, but it's good to buff your nails to keep them shiny, if that's something you care about. I also got this, which is an emery board, but there's different types of like coarse parts. And you know, they're labeled coarse, medium, medium fine, and fine. And so it kind of depends on your need for when you're filing your nails. But again, this was like a dollar. And so if you really enjoy painting your nails, like I do, these two things, especially being so inexpensive, could just be things that are helpful to have like in your little nail kit. The last nail thing that I got from Walmart 
is this glitter nail polish. I bought another glitter type nail polish from Ulta that I'll show in a minute, but this is the Sally Hansen Hard As Nails Ice Queen. So it's like silver glitter, like little glitter with blue and like a pinky purple, like larger particles in there, which I thought was just so cute. I know it's fall now, I get that, and I know that a lot of people in the fall will wear more neutral and darker colors on their nails, but you know, sometimes you gotta break the mold and sometimes you're still gonna wear glitter. <laughs> even in September, October, November. Who cares? You know, wear whatever you want. So anyway, I bought that as well. And then I also bought these little scissors. I really liked that they're upside down. I really liked that they had this cover on them. So they're Simply Personal by Con Air, safe for trimming eyebrows, bangs, bikini lines, and more. They have kind of like a safety tip, and I really, really like that they have this cover. So it's really good to keep in my purse, in my bag, in my makeup bag, in my uh, my day bag, you know, whatever, um, just in case I need scissors for anything. And then the last thing I got at Walmart is probably the most important if I'm gonna say don't look yet if you're gonna buy anything uh, from Walmart that I'm talking about right now it's this I think some of you guys recommended this uh, to me last year when I said that my wrists and my hands were cracking. I really do suffer with dry skin, especially in the winter. My hands and my wrists will like start to crack. Sometimes they'll even bleed. And I think I asked for your recommendations last year and a few of you guys said the O'Keefe's working hands. I love this, I will never be without it. Um, I literally had a tube and I'm literally like, it's almost empty. And so I was like, I cannot be without it. I need another tube. But this was like seven or eight bucks and it is the best hand cream that I've ever tried by far. Um, and they have it at Walmart, Target, places like that. Um, so let's see what else I have in here. I think that's the only Walmart bag. So let's switch to Ulta. We can go back to nail stuff. I think I just accidentally showed you one thing. So you know my Trapper Keeper that I showed you in the beginning of this video? Um, I'm gonna get that at the end of the video to show you one more thing that I bought for that specifically. However, I'm gonna give you a real big hint by showing you this thing. It kind of goes with it. It's like connected. Um, these are Lisa Frank nail stickers, nail wraps. What are they called? 20 nail wraps. These are essentially like, if you don't want to paint your nails, these are like really strong stickers that you put on your nails and then you just kind of file the top and then it's just kind of like you painted your nails, but instead you used a sticker and they stay for like a while. And these are in, you guys, I love these. If Ulta still has them, you should really go check them out and buy them. It was like 10 or 11 bucks. If you're comparing that to like a manicure at a store, not bad, you know, pretty inexpensive. But anyway, these little nail wraps, nail stickers, do you see all the leopard print? And then some of them have little leopards on them too. I love these. I think they're incredible. And then again, keeping on the Lisa Frank trends, uh, in the same little display at Ulta, they had this little like glitter topper nail polish by Lisa Frank. This is called Hits the Spot. And there's little puppies, <laughs> little puppies. Um, and this is like, it has like a silverish glitter undertone, but then there's a bunch of just these like neon spots. Do you see them? So it's literally like orange, pink, blue, green, and then they have yellow stars, which I think are so cute. So anyway, I got those two things at Ulta. I think in one of my last videos, I mentioned that I have a Nude Sticks cream bronzer that I really, really like. I think it's my second one that I've purchased, but it's kind of expensive. And so I'm kind of looking to see if I can find um, another cream bronzer that's a little bit less expensive. Um, and so I found these these two to try out. Um, this one, I might see if they have a different color because this was the second lightest color that they had at the Ulta that I went to and I probably will be the lightest color. So I, I might not even open this to try it. I might just go see if I can exchange it. But regardless, it's the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. This is in the color Honey Drip. Looking at it now, it looks really pretty. But when I looked at the swatches online, it looked like I might be the lightest color. I don't know, but anyway. And e.l.f. is a very inexpensive brand. I like a lot of their products, but so this is a putty bronzer, which is kind of like a cream type of um, consistency. Another cream bronzer I purchased, again, like not opened, is the Ulta Beauty Oh My Glow Cream Bronzer in the color Mocha. It's this tiny little cute thing, just to see, because I really like cream products, and I just want to see if I could find any drugstore versions of the Nude Sticks one that I do like, but it's just expensive. So I just wanted to see if I could find any, you know, less expensive. 
options. I do have another bag of Ulta. I don't remember. Oh, I was like, I don't remember what's in here. I remember now. Again, I've purchased all this stuff within the last month and I, you guys should be proud of me. I have not touched any of this. There's like one or two things that I took out. I'm like, nah, I need it. Not really worth talking about in the haul anyway, but everything else has just been sitting in there <laughs> until I was able to make this video. So anyway, this one has some restocks. So again, like I said earlier in this segment, like I only really buy things that I know I'm gonna love, that I know I'm gonna use. So like the nail files, I'm like, I needed a new nail file and I did not have one of those buffers and I wanted one. Um, the nail stickers, was that a necessity? No. Am I going to love them and it's gonna like bring me joy? Yes. And then the bronzers I have been looking for for a decent amount of time. Finding a cream bronzer that's uh, a little bit less expensive is very hard to find. Um, and then everything in this bag, or. I think everything in this bag is, what's the word? I ran out of them, so I needed to repurchase. Um, and so this is one of my favorite, favorite things. This is the Pacifica Pore Warrior Soft Scrub. It has niacinamide in it, which is like my favorite ingredient to help with my acne. I love this, I literally ran out. I have no more left, and so I just repurchased this. Love it, love it, love it. And then I also repurchased the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. Again, I'm completely out of this, and so I needed to repurchase. I love this. Put this on damp skin to help with hydration of your skin. And I am going to do a video talking about all my skincare in general, but I'm just kind of showing you some things that I've like replenished in my collection because I ran out and I love them. Like I don't wanna be without those two products. Um, another thing that I purchased is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I got the little mini one. This is one of my favorite mascaras. If we're talking about high end, one of my favorite mascaras. And then the last thing, um, I do have one. It's not completely empty yet, but I just didn't know the next time I'd be near an Ulta. And I know I'm going to use this once the one that I'm using right now is used up because it'll be used up soon. Um, and I think I talked about this in one of my recent videos as well. This is the ColourPop Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. I love this. It's one of my favorite eyebrow pencils. And so I have just um, a couple things from Target that I got recently. <gasps> okay, here's my issue. And I'm really upset that this just happened and I'm trying to smile through it because I'm very upset. I love Ollie Vitamins. I always accidentally don't hide them well enough and then they melt because they're gummy. Always, this always happens. I need to just stop buying them. I love them so much and they're delicious, but I need to stop buying them because they always melt. Even though this bag, I thought I was hiding well enough so that these weren't gonna melt, but in the car they still did. Did this one too? This one did not melt as much. So this was the prebiotic probiotic, and this was the daily energy with vitamin B12. These did not fully melt, so I will still be able to like pull those apart. But these, I don't know. No, that completely melted. Ah, oh, dang it, I'm so, but I literally said like after this little haul, oh no, these are still okay, okay, good. These are the goodbye stress. These are still fine. They were in the same bag. So I don't know if it's just, you know, different temperatures melt them at different rates. I don't know if the prebiotic and probiotic one is just a little bit more sensitive to temperature. I don't know, but I'm just so upset because they're not the cheapest. They're not expensive, but they're like 13 or $16 each. And I'm just, these came, these are fine. So I'm still going to be using these. Um, one or two fell out. So I had to put that back. And then these melted a little bit, but I'm still going to be able to pull them apart. Um, so I, maybe, I don't know, they were in the same bag and they were double bagged. Maybe these were just on top, so this one hit them more. I don't know, but I am really bummed about these. But I just need to stop buying them because this has happened to me several times. When I'm living in the car, having these are just, oh, and I'm so sad because I love them and they taste so good, but these are not salvageable. The other two are, I'm grateful for. I'm just gonna have to buy like a capsule of prebiotic and probiotic. I'm bummed. But these, I just, if you do buy these, because I really do like them, just make sure that they're out of the sun. I really thought they were out of the sun. So if you do buy them, just really make sure they're out of the sun. Really make sure. Um, but then also, I purchased, um, oh, I'm like, where are you? I already took them so they're out of the box. The Care Of brand uh, multivitamin for women. I know Care Of, I think they have like a quiz online that you can do that you can get like really specified vitamins for yourself, but I just bought the really basic ones at Target. Um, and these are in capsule form or um, what are they called? This smells like cake. That's very interesting. Cause they don't have like, they don't have weird ingredients or extra ingredients or anything, but it kind of smells like cake batter. These are in, uh, 
tablet. These are in tablet form. So they're not going to melt on me. So um, I just wanted to start taking a few more vitamins, you know. Um, and so I got those. And then I also got turmeric as well, which is supposed to be good for inflammation. And you guys know I have arthritis. I did struggle with tendonitis for the hair on me. Um, I had tendonitis earlier this year. And so I do want to take some anti-inflammatories. And I heard that turmeric is good for that. So, um, yeah. So these were just... This was like a little vitamin haul. Um, I'm just really bummed about the ones that melted. I'm glad the other two didn't, but I'm really bummed about the ones that did. Okay, and I did tell you guys that I had one more Trapper Keeper surprise, so I'm gonna show you on this angle. My Trapper Keeper member from the beginning of the video. You ready to see what I got? You ready, ready, ready? Look, I found some Lisa Frank folders. I went to several Walmarts that didn't have them, but then I went to one um, I think it was when I was in Salt Lake like a month ago and I found them so I got this little unicorn one this little baby So cute and the dolphins and this is what they look like on the inside. They are just so cute I'm so excited that I found these and so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know anything in the comments, maybe that you've purchased recently that you love. And also let me know in the comments if you want me to do like an updated haul video. So like me trying out these products, giving you reviews, that kind of stuff. Again, if you really like any of the jewelry that I'm wearing or you just want to check out Ana Luisa, please click the link in my description. They are giving 10% off if you use my code, if you use my link. And so I really hope that you check them out. I love their jewelry so much. And yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Thanks again for watching and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.